Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be going over WooCommerce pricing. What is the cost of an online store and how much does it cost to run a store with WooCommerce? Now, when I talk about WooCommerce, you might be thinking, well, pricing, WooCommerce pricing, isn't it free? Well, there are some fees that you're going to need and the absolute bare essentials to be able to actually utilize WooCommerce. Now, WooCommerce is an open source e-commerce platform that allows you to use e-commerce on WordPress. So you can get started quickly and easily and be able to build e-commerce the way that you want it. They're very flexible open source is just the general nature of that however there are some bare essentials that you're going to need in order to use WooCommerce and this is how the pricing breaks down so the first thing that you're going to need in order to use WooCommerce is hosting now there are a variety of different web hosting solutions out there for WooCommerce Bluehost is my personal favorite there are a lot of different options out there Bluehost is also recommended by WordPress and WooCommerce now the bare minimum plan of Bluehost that you can use with WooCommerce of course is their base level here so the initial pricing this is their current pricing on a per month basis is $3.95 per month that is their starting rate it, it does go up after that but that is their initial rate so that's what you can expect as far as a monthly cost is that $3.95 a month might be a little bit higher depending on the time that you're looking at this video it, this all depends on the offer that they're currently providing uh, based on the term that you sign up whether it's 36 month 24 month or a 12 month plan but you can generally expect to pay that much for hosting on a month to month basis and beyond hosting you're also going to need a domain now Bluehost does include a free domain for the first year uh, but after that of course you are going to have those yearly domain costs now yearly domain costs if you go to a company such as Namecheap there are a lot of other providers out there you can even just stick with Bluehost and just renew your domain that way or if you want something cheaper you can utilize name cheap as well so as you can see this is their current pricing and by the way links down in the description box below as well if you want to follow along and check out Bluehost first link down in the description box along with Namecheap for the domain. So Bluehost is for the hosting, uh, Namecheap is for domains. So either way you go, there are a lot of other options out there. Those are just the ones that I'm recommending here in this video today. So those are the two bare minimums that you're going to need in order to get started with WooCommerce. And that's the bare essentials for the pricing. Now we're going to be getting into everything else that you're going to need with getting set up with a WooCommerce website on WordPress. Uh, but those are the two main things that are going to be essentials and necessary that will cost you some money to get started with WooCommerce. Now, beyond those two factors, you also have the WooCommerce plugin itself, which is free on WordPress.org. You can just download it and install it. As you can see, it's the world's most popular open source e-commerce solutions, free, flexible, and amplified. So that is the basis of WooCommerce. You can install it right onto any WordPress website, uh, just like if you're using Bluehost. And we're gonna be getting into more advanced solutions. We're going into just the basics right now, and we'll, we'll move into the more advanced options depending on what you may need for your website. But this is just the bare essentials, the basics for most beginners who are getting started uh, with an e-commerce website utilizing WooCommerce. So beyond that, then you also have themes. Now themes break down into two categories. Of course, you have free and paid. There's a lot of good free themes out there, so you don't have to pay for a theme with WooCommerce. You can use a free one. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of different free themes here between these three main ones. Storefront is their, I would say they're probably one of their most popular ones. Uh, it's a classic. And then you also have these other ones like Delhi and Boutique. You have other storefront themes uh, and other paid themes that you can utilize as well. These are just the ones directly through the WooCommerce website. There are a lot of other third-party theme providers that you can purchase themes, theme, different types of themes through. Just depends on what you may need for your business, what you like, what you want for your e-commerce store. It all just depends on, on your scenario, but there are free options as well, so you don't have to directly pay for that. There are a lot of extensions. You don't have to pay for the bare essentials. Once again, uh, the most popular uh, products like the extensions that you may need are free to get set up. They do have some fees on the back end, such as the payment processing with WooCommerce, but that's pretty much standard across any kind of payment gateway payment processor that you may need on an e-commerce store. So the WooCommerce payments, if we just spend a little bit of time on that here, so as you can see, it's free, but then there are uh, the fees that you do have to pay for accepting payments and transactions. But 
it's pretty standard, more or less the same type of fees that you would expect with other types of payment processing solutions out there with other e-commerce platforms. So very standard there. It obviously rates depend on your total order volumes that you may be processing, depending on the scale of your e-commerce store uh, with WooCommerce, but the base level is free. So on the WooCommerce payments, so that you can process payments and, and all of that, of course. And then beyond that, you also have the shipping options, which are free, as well as the mobile app, which is free that you can use. And the mobile app, let me tell you, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, they've really worked on this a lot in the past few years and, and really got it to a level where you can track the analytics and everything. Uh, and it is powered through Jetpack. So if you don't want to use Jetpack, then you may lose some of the functionality of the app, but you can use that as well for free. Uh, through your WooCommerce store. So those are the, just the basics there as far as the pricing really once again It's really just your hosting and your domain that is going to cost you that initial bit of money It's not too much compared to what other platforms might be out there as far as what you might expect to pay with a platform such as Shopify uh, They're a bit more expensive, but they have everything kind of bundled together So if you want things a little bit more flexible uh, more customizable then that's where WooCommerce is a pretty good option there because you have that ultimate flexibility and customizability is well what plugins or, or, or paid extensions do you really need if you need them then you can pay for them if you don't need them you can just stick to the bare minimums and keep things nice basic and simple which is ultimately the best most budget friendly option across the different uh, e-commerce platforms it's probably why you're wanting to know about well what what do i actually have to pay for with woocommerce that's really the basics there now if you're going to be going above the beginner level solutions if you're getting more into the advanced levels then or the mid-range sites then you might expect to pay a bit more or if you're getting into that advanced level then there are some other costs that you might have and we're going to get into that in just a second here so if you go over to bluehost as well they do have the specialist online store solution for woocommerce online stores this is more catered towards people who maybe are doing a little bit more volume or if you don't want to go through some of the installation processes of installing woocommerce yourself or installing other plugins and apps to make woocommerce functional on a typical wordpress website then just going with the online store option right from the get-go is a good solution from bluehost uh, so that you don't have to do any of that yourself everything's set up for e-commerce from day one so that's the comparison there between the two just depends on how much time you have what you want to what your familiarity is with WordPress and installing plugins or apps it's not too complicated but if you want things uh, you know set up from day one then this is the way to go definitely with the WooCommerce hosting so it is a bit more money per month depending on of course if you're doing the one month 12 month or 36 month 36 months the best deal of course you're extending out that time frame and everything is set up with the storefront theme, with WooCommerce, the uh, unlimited products and all of that, with the website and blog. So, you know, really not gonna spend too much time here on that, but that is for a more advanced hosting, then they do offer that as well, uh, which is ultimately what you may need for e-commerce comparatively to just running a, a standard website. You might need a bit more of the hosting uh, uh, be, uh, power, more hosting power, uh, I would say, with running an e-commerce store uh, on a platform such as WooCommerce or any e-commerce store in general. So the next cost that not a lot of people even think about or consider as well with a e-commerce store beyond just the hosting, the domain, potential theme costs, then you also have potentially marketing. So if you're going to be growing your business and, and utilizing marketing, there all is that cost as well, which is quite variable, really just depends on what you're doing. If you're going to be running Facebook ads, Google ads, or social media campaigns, then those are all going to cost you additional money as well that you may need to budget and consider when you're taking a look at your business finances and, and really taking a look at, well, how, how are you going to market your e-commerce store? That's another pricing factor that really is pretty uh, congruent across any e-commerce platform you're using. It's not just WooCommerce. Really, the, these costs are going to be across the board any type of uh, e-commerce solution that you end up using, not just WooCommerce. You're going to have some sort of marketing costs depending on what your plan is there. Of course, you could also go the route of if you already have a good base of customers utilizing their features such as their card abandonment, newsletters, email marketing, 
uh, and all of that as well if you already have a good base of customers or you could utilize like the coupons or you could go the whole e-commerce SEO route uh, using the WordPress blog, which is another big benefit of WooCommerce is that you do have the back end of WordPress, which is awesome for SEO. So if you're going to be going the SEO route, then of course you also have those features as well baked into WooCommerce. And there may be some costs depending on who you're utilizing for, for that. If you're gonna be writing the content yourself or how you're gonna be doing content marketing, uh, there could be other costs associated there as well as far as your SEO plan or ranking in search. So beyond that, you do have some marketing costs that you may need to consider, but nothing really above and beyond what typical standard would be across any other kind of e-commerce platform. So hopefully that clears up that section there as far as the marketing goes. Now, we go back to the different extensions. Now, extensions are something that will cost you money beyond just the basic free level if you want certain uh like as you could see if you want certain logistical technical or marketing needs some of these will cost you additional money there are other third-party apps as well that you can install very similar to how shopify's app store works the extension store uh, some of them are free some of them are paid it really is quite variable it's hard to set a specific price target on what you may need at least to run the bare minimum, you don't need it, but depending on your business, you might need some of these extensions to run your store and operate it in the way that you want for your business, of course. So it's really just, you're gonna have to check that out for yourself to see like what costs you might have associated. The basics, the absolute bare minimum basics are free to use, such as collecting payments and loading products onto your store beyond just the hosting cost and, and the domain cost. So beyond that, the other pricing that you might have is really fluctuates and variable depending on how much you want to spend now there are certain price ranges that you might typically expect to spend such as on a theme or for maybe developer if you're using a custom developer which woocommerce actually broke down very nicely in this blog post so i'm going to share that a bit uh, as well as kind of give some of my own personal feedback as well Obviously, like I already mentioned, WooCommerce gives you uh, various types of flexibility, different uh, hosting options that you have. This is what they say as their typical hosting cost per year. Like I said, with the monthly basics that you could get with the uh, standard Bluehost plan and installing uh, WooCommerce yourself onto your WordPress hosting plan, then you have that option as well. So that's what the potential hosting costs would be. The domain registrations, now you could be a bit cheaper. Now, one other thing to consider that they do mention here as well is, well, it could be much more expensive if purchasing a domain from a private seller. When they say that private seller, that means that they, it is in a marketplace. So a place like Namecheap, these are for maybe more popular types of domains, such as something that's a little bit more bite-sized, maybe it's shorter, sweeter, and, and for some people, they want that more premium level domain and some of them are from third party sellers. Some of those could go for multiple thousands of dollars. So that is another potential hidden cost that you might need to consider with a domain. If you don't already own the domain uh, for your business, some domains are going to cost quite a bit of money. You might have to settle for a, a domain that maybe you're not as happy with just if you want to cut costs. You might have to go with something that's maybe a, a three word domain, maybe a little bit longer. But if you really want that short and sweet one, typically those are premium or someone is selling it as a third party seller, uh, kind of like an auction style where it could go for multiple thousands of dollars. You might have to contact them privately to be able to get the domain that you really want. So that's another potential hidden cost that you might have to consider when you're looking at your domains. If you want something basic and simple, like I said at the beginning, that's all that the minimum cost would be. And that's that's per year so it's not too bad if you're just going with a basic standard domain but if you're going for anything above that that is a potential hidden cost and quite a bit more expensive that you might face of course as far as the different themes okay like i said the free themes typically is what you could see some of them are 100 per year on a on an annual basis you have to renew the licenses uh, that you have for the theme in order to get the the typical regular updates as you can see the the paid themes are regular updated it's not as much of a big deal if you're using a free theme as well. You can still get the basics out of your site and be able to sell your e-commerce products. So if you're trying to cut costs, just use a free theme. 
uh, to be able to use your store. Like you can still get the bare essentials with a free theme. You don't need to have to necessarily use a paid theme. Uh, like they somewhat say here is like, oh, it, could, it can make, might look a little bit better. That's up for you to decide if you really want things to look a certain way, then you're gonna end up paying more money for that if you want things to look a certain way. As far as the management, like I already mentioned before, is the shipping extensions and the payment gateways are free. Now with the payment gateway, you do have that basic level transaction fee, depending on where your customers are, uh, depending on what your sales volume is. They do also offer PayPal as an option. Uh, so that's another option that you could add into your checkout and that is free as well to get set up. Of course, there are the transaction fees, but it is uh, free to use there the, to add that functionality to your website. So, and then beyond that, you see you have the shipping costs, the payment gateway costs, and you have potential other costs as well. Uh, most of these are going to be free and typically included. A lot, of, a lot of these features here are generally included with most hosting plans nowadays. So you don't have to worry about that. Potential developer costs, quite a big range there. There's not really any specific number that you might spend there. Same thing with uh, really any kind of customization where you're going to be hiring a team. Potentially, if you're hiring a marketing team for digital marketing, if you're going to be outsourcing that, it's going to cost you quite a bit of money for that, as well as potential developer costs if you're going to be, uh, you know, adding custom features and developments to your WooCommerce website. Those are other pricing factors that you might need to consider as well. Uh, but ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, you could get started with under $100 or around $100 at the bare minimum when you uh, factor in your hosting costs and your domain costs on that per year basis. It's not too expensive to get started, so that's why WooCommerce is really at the top of the list there for building an online store because it's customizable, it's open source, which is why most of you who want to get into e-commerce that are on a budget, WooCommerce is really the best solution in that scenario. Of course, you can spend as much money as you want on your online store if you want to pay for all the premiums and the paid features, but hopefully this clears up the bare essentials that you do need for WooCommerce. Like I said, you could always spend more, but that's really that entry level basis. If you just want to get started with the free themes, the bare essentials and your hosting and domain, that is all that you need. So once again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button links down in the description box below to all of the platforms that I mentioned already, such as Bluehost and Namecheap, if you want to get signed up with them, of course. Guys, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, once again, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell as well, so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.